Hello, this is Fort Myers Health Rant. I'm Dr. Stephen Stokes. If you're experiencing pain, that's a signal there's something wrong. Go see a doctor, find out the cause of your pain, and fix it. Equally important is to make sure that you don't allow your body to feel pain for prolonged periods. The longer you feel pain, the greater the production of something called substance P. Substance P is a chemical that your body uses to grow and create nociceptors. Nociceptors are nerve receptors that sense pain. So the longer you're in pain, the greater the amount of nerve receptors your body makes to sense pain. So it creates a cycle. So it's very important not to experience pain for prolonged periods of time. Now, of course, there's always pain management, but pain management only masks the pain. Pain management turns off the areas of the brain that deal with pain. So, and there's a lot of side effects, addiction problems associated with these types of drugs, and so they're really not ideal. There are a couple of things that are available over the counter that do a fantastic job of reducing pain quickly. The first one I want to talk about has been around for over 3,000 years, and it's ginger. Now, ginger is a root, and when the root is dried, there is an oil that's extracted, and that oil is made up of two basic components, something called gingerols and something called shogiols. And these are really the, 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 the essential oils of the root. When you're buying ginger, you want to make sure that your ginger you're purchasing is a guaranteed uh, extract of 5% standardized in gingerols and shogiols. So make sure you buy a 5% uh, standardized extract when you buy ginger. Now the great thing about ginger is, is that it takes down inflammation, which causes a lot of the, the pain that we feel. Um, but another great thing about ginger is it prevents the, um, it, it blocks the formation of substance P. So over prolonged periods of time, ginger actually changes your pain tolerance. It allows you to experience more activities without feeling pain. So it's a really good product. And um, there was uh, many studies done on ginger with people who have arthritis, for example, uh, with great results. I want you to begin taking uh, ginger in a dose of around 2,000 milligrams. Um, but I want you to increase that 2,000 milligrams up to, up to 4,000 milligrams, depending on how much your body needs before you see a result. So start at 2,000 with the idea of increasing it up to 4,000 milligrams of ginger, making sure that you're taking a 5% standardized extract. Okay. Um, another fantastic product that's over the counter is called turmeric. Now, again, the same as ginger, when we're talking about turmeric, we're not talking about going to the public shopping uh, grocery store and buying your turmeric uh, in the spice section. We want to make sure that when we buy turmeric, we're getting 95% standardized extract. Again, that means we're going to get the active components um, in the turmeric uh, that we're, we're looking for. There's been over 1,500 papers, research papers, on turmeric. And the conclusion is that turmeric is the most powerful anti-inflammatory, antioxidant product currently available. Turmeric has a extraordinary effect on cancer, inhibiting the growth of cancer cells as, a, as well. So turmeric is the number one herb that you can purchase that's going to have a profound effect on your pain levels. It's comparable to NSAIDs like ibuprofen, for example, um, but no side effects. So you really can't go wrong. As far as the dosage of uh, turmeric goes, what I like to do is start people off taking about 1,000 milligrams of turmeric, and then I like to build it up to 3,000 milligrams. Now, with all these products, a great way to do this is to divide your dosage up throughout the day. So take it with food. If you're eating three times a day, each time you eat, take, um, take some of your, your, take a dosage. I mean, that's, that's really the ideal situation to balance it out. Also, when you're taking these products, if you don't feel good, if, if you start to feel stomach sick or something's not right, then maybe that brand of the uh, herb that you're taking is not working out for you, and you should stop taking it. You know, don't just keep taking something, um, even if you're feeling lousy. Now, there is, with turmeric, uh, the great thing is that it inhibits the formation of something called NF-kappa-B. Okay, NF-kappa-B 
is an underlying product that creates pain in your body. And so in addition to turmeric getting rid of inflammation and being a great antioxidant, which means that it's going to inhibit cancer, uh, these types of things, it also inhibits the production of NF-kappa B. And NF-kappa B is one of those chemicals in your body that creates pain that all the drug companies are trying to manufacture synthetic ways of getting rid of it. Well, turmeric will do the job. Just remember to start off low, start off with about 1,000 milligrams, work up to about 3,000 milligrams over the course of several days until you find the right dose, dosage for yourself. Now, turmeric works synergenically with another product called omega-3 fatty acids. Now, a lot of you know about fish oil. Fish oil contains EPA and DHA, and those are the active ingredients of fish oil. We want you to try to take about 3,000 milligrams, up to 5,000 milligrams of the uh, essential fatty acids. Now, to get that kind of dose um, with fish oil really is difficult because when you buy a 1,000 milligram fish oil capsule and you look on the back of it, you're going to see that the EPA and DHA amount in the 1,000 milligram capsule are really quite small. That you probably are getting fish oil that has maybe 200 milligrams of EPA or DHA in it. So you're going to, have to take a lot of fish oil capsules to really bump your system up to getting the 3,000 to 5,000 milligrams needed to get rid of your pain. Um, an easier approach would be to go out and to purchase flaxseed oil. And we know that if you take about two to three tablespoons of cold-pressed flaxseed oil a day, your body will naturally produce the right amount of EPA and DHA, which is a great, great way to get, get around the fish oil. Plus, a lot of people just don't like fish oil. They get burpy reactions and stuff like this. So the flaxseed oil cold pressed and I like Barleen's uh, as a brand you have to keep it refrigerated but you know go and do your research taking two to three tablespoons of flaxseed oil a day will give your body the ability to produce its own EPA DHA all that you need but those are two options now in some rare cases people don't have the proper chemistry in their body to to take the flaxseed oil and convert it to EPA and DHA if that's you you have to go with fish oil how do you know if you're, taking, if you're taking two to three tablespoons of flaxseed oil a day and you've been taking it for a week or two and you're really not seeing any change, you may be in that category. You can always go get tested, um, but there's a good, good chance that if you're not seeing a reaction, you can't convert and then you should switch to, to the fish oil. A lot of times when I have patients that are really sick, like fibromyalgia patients, I'll just start them off on the fish oil, you know, just to be safe. And I'll have them taking uh, really large quantities of fish oil, at least initially, until I get their pain level down. Third product, uh, fourth product, third herb, fourth product uh, that I want to talk about in the last one is called Devil's Claw, not Cat's Claw, Devil's Claw. Okay, Devil's Claw. It is a product that I want you to take. Again, look for standardized extracts. I want you to take 60 to 80 milligrams a day of Devil's Claw. And Devil's Claw works as good as Vioxx. Now, Vioxx was taken off the market, if you remember, and Vioxx was something called a COX-2 inhibitor, which means that it blocks the COX-2 pathway, which is a pain pathway. Um, but Vioxx, of course, which is the prescription drug, all sorts of side effects, problems with the heart, so they pulled it off the market. Devil's Claw works as effectively as Vioxx, as a COX-2 inhibitor, without any side effects. So you definitely want to look at um, getting into Devil's Claw. But remember, it's not Cat's Claw. Cat's Claw is something else that works with the immune system. And we really don't want you taking that uh, for pain. The great thing about Devil's Claw is in addition to it reducing pain, it has an effect on your central nervous system. So it directly changes the way that your nervous system and your brain deals with pain. So these are great products to take over time that are going to reduce your pain initially, reduce your pain right away. But once it reduces your pain, it's also going to work with your own biochemistry to make you less susceptible to having pain. So uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to include some links below that you can get more information on these products. The only thing I want to end, end with is a disclaimer. If you're in pain, find out why you're in pain. 
Don't just mask it with drugs or, or herbs for that matter. But get your pain level down quickly to prevent the, uh, to prevent the production of substance P, which is going to create chronic pain problems, chronic pain syndromes in your body. Also, if you're taking prescription drugs, you can't take any of this stuff until you get your doctor to tell you you can take it, or until you see a doctor, like myself, who understands these products. Because there are all sorts of contraindications. A lot of these products thin the blood. So if you're already taking a blood thinner and you take these, you're going to run into all sorts of trouble. So be smart. Okay, if you have any questions, email me, subscribe, um, give me a call, whatever you'd like. I'm always available, and I'm always wanting to talk about these types of, uh, types of things. Good luck.